This is for Year 11 Methods. It comes out of 5F. It's question number 8. <coughs> Find two quadratic factors, f of x and g of x, such that f of 1 equals 0 and g of 1 equals 0. So they've both got the same x-intercept. f of 0 equals 10 and g of 0 equals 10. So they've both got the same y-intercept. And they both have maximum values of 18. So what might that look like? So, if I was to draw f against x, f of 1 equals 0, f of 0 equals 10, and it has a maximum value of 18. So it could look like that. And g of x also has a y-intercept of 10 and 1 of 1. So g could look like that or vice versa. So given the same two pieces of information, I've got two different graphs, but both of them have a maximum value of the turning point of 18. So I'm going to use the general rule, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, and sub in f of 1 equals 0, and that will give me 0 equals, sorry, 1 f of 0, f of 1 equals 0, isn't it? f of 1 equals 0. So 0 equals a plus b plus c, and f of 0 equals 10. 10 equals c. So 0 equals a plus b plus 10, so a plus b equals negative 10. That's equation number 1. Now, <clears throat> I really don't have any other information because I've subbed in these two pieces of information. That gave me one equation, and it gave me c equals 10. What I do know is that the turning point is at a y value of 18. How do I find that x value? So the x value of the turning point, I can use halfway between the x-intercepts, but I've only got one of them. I know one, but I don't know the other one. I can do, put it in turning point form, but I only know the 10, I don't know the others. Or I can use x equals minus b over 2a. Hello, x equals minus b over 2a, so I can use this. So, I know f of minus b over 2a equals 18. And that will give me my second equation. So, um, 18 equals a times minus b over 2a squared plus b minus b over 2a plus 10. So, 8 equals a times b squared on 4a squared plus minus b squared on 2a. 8 equals b squared on 4a minus b squared on 2a is 8 equals b squared on 4a minus 2b squared on 4a. <coughs> so 8 equals minus b squared on 4a. Um, a equals minus b squared on 32. Just need a little bit of space. So I have an expression for a. I'm going to sub that into this other equation. So I know that a plus b equals negative 10. Therefore, minus b squared on 32 plus b equals negative 10. Or minus b squared plus 32b equals negative 320, or 0 equals b squared minus 32b minus 320. b, b, 32 by 10 doesn't give me a difference of 32. Um, 8 by 40, yeah, 8 by 40, so 40 and 8 with the negative on the 40, 
and the positive on the eighth. Therefore, I've got B minus 40, B plus 8 equals 0. So B will equal 40 or negative 8. When B equals 40, A will equal A plus 40 equals negative 10, A equals negative 50. And when B equals 8, A plus 8 equals negative 10, A equals negative 18. Sorry, that's negative 8. <coughs> Therefore, that is negative 2. So, 1 can be f of x equals um, 40, oops, um, negative 50 x squared, and b is 40, plus 40 x plus 10, and g of x can equal negative 2 x squared, and b equals negative 8, so minus 8 x plus 10. So there are my two rules.